with Red Hawk Realty and today we're here with Don Bree. And along with all of our regular real estate services, we also deal a lot with investment properties. And recently we've had a lot of folks call us wanting to inquire on some investment properties that we currently have or any potential opportunities that are coming up. So Don, why don't you share with us a little bit about these different types of investment properties? Okay, sure. Um, the options available for investment properties can be really broken down into five general classifications. Uh, the first one being agriculture and vacant land. Uh, residential property is number two. Commercial property would be number three. Uh, industrial properties, number four. And um, development properties would be a, a fifth classification of investment properties that are available to. So there's five main categories. So let's go over some examples of each one of these categories. So the first one, agricultural vacant land. What are some examples? Well, we have several examples out here. Uh, one example would be up in Julian, an apple orchard. Mm -hmm. And here in San Isabel, you see a lot of rangeland for cattle, so raised for the beef industry. And then, of course, we live right on the wine trail going into Temecula, so vineyards would be another example of an income producing yeah. activity on, on uh, agricultural land. Yeah, those are all good examples. So, for the second category, residential, what would you? Well, uh, residential, obviously, where people live, uh, you know, these are all kind of uh, classified based on their zoning, but uh, so you have single family residential homes and then you can have units. And uh, my favorite is anything a fourplex or below. A fourplex would be um, something that a person could get a conventional conforming loan for, but anything more than four units, then they're into a whole different category of financing. So units are very popular. Right. Well, and then also in that, you know, someone could be looking at it for some sort of a vacation rental, bed mm -hmm. and breakfast type opportunity. Sure. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so the third category, commercial. Yeah, commercial would be uh, limited to retail activities, office, um, hotels, those types of things. Those would be commercial right. investment properties. And for that, you need very specific zoning. You do need specific zoning. Yeah, that's correct. All right, and then the fourth would be industrial land? Industrial, primarily a manufacturing and a wholesale distribution. So generally spaces that are all clustered together. And uh, for zoning schemes throughout the county, you will find those all consolidated. So for us up here, up on Newman Way, that is your industrial area. And over by Nickel Brewery is also an area that's zoned industrial. Mm -hmm. And then our fifth is development. Development, so that, that's kind of one I just threw in uh, that I keep track of. And a development property would be any property um, in which the current use is not the highest and best use. So somebody would buy a property for development if by buying it and changing the use of it, they can increase the value instantly. So that would be what I would consider a development property. So those are the five top categories for investment properties. And if you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact our office anytime. We would be happy to answer any questions about investment properties or any other real estate needs. We are here to help you. Yes, and look for our forthcoming videos where we get into a little bit more depth on each one of these uh, classifications of investment properties.